Okay, they got a fish on me here. There he is. Oh, and it's good. There we go. This is really good. Good, good fish. North Country Outdoors Radio. Hey, hi everybody. Kurt Quinnell back on Lake of the Woods. And this is Tuesday. The day after Labor Day and the first day of fall fishing. So officially kicks it off. And uh, this is gonna sound like a, a wild claim, but uh, I have fished through Labor Day weekend and had fishing be so-so. But on Tuesday after Labor Day, things pop, all right? Now I'm looking over the last 10 years. I don't remember a day that we could fish because of weather, that uh, that wasn't the case. So I'm heading out, well I need some fish today. I could have some, we need some fish in the freezer. So uh, we're ready to go. Let's see if my big theory holds out. Are the fish gonna go the day after Labor Day in the fall spots? I'm checking three spots today, close to home, and we're gonna see how they work out. By the end of this video, you'll know that uh, I'm either schooled on this or I'm full of it. <laughs> so let's see what happens. Let's go fishing, huh? All right, well, we're set up in the first spot. Uh, uh, if you're new, you'll say, ooh, look at that. But if you're, if you're watching these videos, oh yeah, there it is again. Uh, pink jig, yellow is a good color, chartreuse, orange, gold is good. Got my beads up on top because I'm not so lazy I can't put on beads. Uh, the first line is in the water for fall fishing. This is... Uh, this spot that's very close in is one of my great, great fishing spots. Uh, this is where I start most days of fishing uh, all summer long. Uh, in August, I may not do that, but uh, the rest of the year I start here. It's uh, 7.41 right now. I'll stay here till 9, possibly 9.30, and then I'll move to the best spot that I ever fished in before. Another spot that uh, goes a little cold in August but uh, it, it, the day after Labor Day, they're in here. So I've been the line in the water for about a minute. Nothing so far. But it shouldn't stay that way. Good luck to me. First one of the day. It's uh, 7.47, so it's six minutes. And to no surprise, it is a little sauger, all right? I think I know this guy by name. But, even at six minutes I sat here saying, oh, I'll never get a bite or catch a fish here. And then, doink, you see the bite and everything's good. <laughs> as soon as I get uh, pretty upset and figure I'm gonna move, that's when you get a bite. It's uh, 8.17 now. Ooh. Everyone's better than the one before. This is a little walleye, that's why he bit so good. He's going back today, but that's uh, maybe a 14 incher. So, uh, 45 minutes. Been this spot, and that's three. And uh, I've got some other spots that I want to go and try. So they're kind of calling to me right now. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to stay here. I'm going to give it till, well, at least 8.30, and I should stay here till 9. Again, uh, some little ones in here. Maybe one or two you can keep, maybe a perch or two. Maybe a sturgeon, but there's usually a couple of big walleyes in here. So if you get a chance for a, for a couple of big fish fishing from 7.30 to nine, yeah, you should take it. So unless something happens here in five minutes, uh, I'm leaving. I five minute ruled this which means unless something happens, we're leaving in five minutes. Well, just as I'm ready to go, I get a, I get a fish that, and this is a nice one. Son of a gun, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> what? One good fish in here. Oh man. He's going back. Come on in here, buddy. Come on. <laughs> 
<laughs> Inside that five minute rule. I was just going to reel up. All right, it's kind of a skinny fish for some reason. Uh, we'll measure this guy. Seven incher. <laughs> Beaut. All right, buddy. Goodbye. Off he goes. All right. I'm leaving. I know what you're saying. Hey, Kurt, you just caught a 27 incher 10 minutes ago and you're leaving. Well, got some other spots that I want to see here. So we're going to move back when we get there all right it's uh, just 9 30 now i said i'm gonna stay here until 9 30 i still haven't uh did i catch one i got in the boat here yet but i've had many many bites i'm almost done with my first bag of minnows that's 25 minnows they've used in uh i don't know a little over an hour so uh, i still want to sit out here till i catch it. i'm gonna give it 10 more minutes and then i'm gonna move Maybe. On a day like this, when you're just, you know, out checking things out, you kind of wonder. I've said it a uh, hundred times that uh, the best fishing time on Lake of the Woods usually is from 9 or 9.30 till uh, 11.30 and then 1 till 3 or 4. And that's your main daytime bite. Well, it's just 9.30 right now. So I've been fishing for... Uh, quarter to eight, quarter to ten, about a while, but uh, we're just getting to the time where you should, you know, really start getting into it. So it's hard to eliminate a spot, one of the first spots you go to, if you don't sit there till 10 or 10 30. Well, I'm not doing that today, and I, I'll take that into account when I figure out how these spots are going. Now, uh, this is, this is my huge big fish spot right here. One of the best, oop, there we go. Great big fish spot. You gonna bite it this time, huh? Big fish, big fish. See? <laughs> yeah, this is big. They go under the boat, the rascals. It's not a 30 incher, but this is a nice, nice fish. Oh no! What the? Are you kidding me? You know, if you watch these videos, you've seen me do a really good job with the net. But this was terrible. The net hooked. Uh, these fish are just crazy. Boy, this one wasn't getting off. That was right in his jaw. Measure for you. Twenty-four and a half incher, twenty-five incher. This is a nice uh, fatter one than the last one I caught. Very nice fish. His fins are up, healthy, and probably pretty ticked off right now. There he goes. <laughs> Two net jobs I've had to do this morning, and and they both are ridiculous. But now it's uh, nine thirty-six and. I've had two big fish already this morning. So I'm going to sit here for a while longer. I fish here till 10 now just to see if there's maybe something a little bigger. But wow. All right, it's gone quiet here. Uh, it's uh, five minutes to 10. If I, if I leave now, I could be set up at the next spot in uh, probably 10 minutes or so. I'm not going real far here, but so. A lot of bites, probably little fish, and then a big one in here in an hour. The wind is plenty, but you uh, want wind like this. This isn't so windy that it makes boating trouble, or it isn't so windy that it makes fishing hard. So 
good wind overall. I'll get the motor picked up and we'll get out of here. I'll be at the next spot shortly, all right? Now it's a pretty sunny day and just because we're past Labor Day doesn't mean you can you know, forget all your suntan stuff and your sunburn stuff. So I'm trying to keep from getting any more sunburn than I already have this summer. It's gonna be on. But in my uh, spot here, there's a couple of uh, charter boats and we're all spread out here over well, probably a quarter of a mile or a half a mile and, uh, and a couple of little boats like mine so they might have the same idea as I have but uh, the more jigs we've got pound on the bottom and everyone is anchored up by the way and jigging the more jigs you've got pounding into the bottom every time a wave comes by the better fish is gonna be for everybody oh I got a fish here here he comes come on buddy Got him up five feet. Here he's still coming. There he is. It's big. It is big. Ah. <laughs> I thought this one on the screen. How long have I been here? Uh, 15 minutes. There's another big fish today. See how bad I can do with this one. It's not this one. Good, actually. There he is, man. Again, it's not a giant, but it's plenty big enough. Look at this guy, huh? Look right through the jaw. Sweet. Nice Lake of the Woods 23 incher. Come on, get going, buddy. There he goes. Good. Geez, I got a fish on me here. There he is. Boom. And it's good. There we go. This is really good. Good, good fish. Yeah, this will be the biggest one today. Ooh. He is running out drag. <laughs> Come on up, buddy. Nice enough to jump right into my net for me. Oh, come on, man. Look at this one. Big, big and nice. Here we go. Because the biggie sticks out the side of the boat. Twenty six incher here. I'm gonna uh, maybe not be out here a lot longer today, but these kind of fish and the like today they haven't been quite as big, but they've been so big and fat lately. The nice big leg of the woods walleye, it's going away, and this is just the beginning. This isn't this isn't near what fall fishing's gonna be. It's uh, at the very very beginning of it now. Fall fishing, put the shotguns away for a couple of days and uh, come up and, and take advantage of this. The fish up here are big and fat and uh, sassy. And uh, the little, I'm not gonna get a keeper today evidently, but I'm not so worried about that. I wanna come out and see if, where these fish were. So it's been good, I got another one, big whopper right below me right now. Well, I'm gonna get after him and if I catch him, I'll put this on the video, but for now I'm saying from Lake of the Woods, fall fishing is on. I'm Kurt Quinnell, we'll see you out here somewhere, hopefully soon. On the water. North Country Outdoors Radio.